What is <laughs> up? This is Rhode Island's music <laughs> cute day. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> One more time. This is Rhode Island. This is your Q and A. I'm on my way to the top, and I know I am falling down. I can feel it now. Can you feel it now? First question: If you could choose any artist or band to play with, who would it be? Um, if I could choose any artist um to play with, I think I would have to go with John Mayer. Just a big John Mayer fan. That's definitely would be my answer. Uh, I would love to play with Steve Winwood. Steve Winwood. Steve Winwood. Yeah. Okay. Formerly with Traffic, Traffic English Band. Okay. What about you? Well, well if I had You're to choose, them, if I had to choose, <laughs> uh, my pick would be Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Just because I listen to his music all the time and I'm a big fan. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. If you could do a duet with any artist, who would it be? Oof, I'd pick. I'd pick Victoria Justice. Reason being, because I think she's adorable, and I'd, you know, kind of like to get to know her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't have actually a favorite, but I wouldn't mind I'm talking doing something with Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. Yeah. That's really cool, Beatles. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, go man. Um, a duet. Uh, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez? <laughs> you have some that, problems that, with Justin Bieber. That, that, that's, that's, that's it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, okay, well, with all the changes in the band, what has been like the toughest time? I guess what's the toughest thing we've ever worked with? Um, I don't know if, I mean, I think the toughest thing we go through is, is the fact, you know, we don't really have like a crew like that helps us with like our equipment and like stuff like that. So I think. Like whenever we're setting up and setups are always hectic and like getting our own sound checks and doing all that stuff, we have to do all ourselves. It's not like we have like a whole like sound crew and stuff like that. So I maybe. have to agree with Michael on that yeah. because I do sound, I play drums, I have to be mixing at the same time I'm playing drums, yeah. and it's kind of hectic. But you know we do it, and then at the end of the gig, break everything down and put everything into the trailer. It's kind of a Heavy job. It's not us. You know, we could go in and just sit in and, and play. I think William kind of did everything he just says, of course. So what's the craziest thing that you guys ever done? Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I could rephrase that. I guess the craziest like thing that I've ever like had to deal with fan wise. I guess I could. William could probably agree with me. It's like the um, YWPA. I think the fact that it was like it was like our big I guess like five hundred people and it was all girls so it was like you, you know us lock us up in a room and it's kind of like <laughs> yep pretty crazy. Well, I, I had a very crazy experience. Yeah. When I was uh, touring with Joe Walsh, I was playing drums and I looked to my right side and there's this guy naked. <laughs> Next to me, they're naked, and then he jumped into the audience naked. It was on the era that the streaking was uh, streaking, yeah. naked people jumping around. Yeah, this, this was freak. Hopefully, we'll get there so one day. I'm playing, <laughs> boom! All of a sudden, this guy <laughs> naked next to me on stage. God, it was insane. <laughs> you could go on tour anywhere in the world, where would you want to go, and why? I'm definitely gonna say the UK. I'd love to go tour in the UK. Um, reason being, I mean, I've, I've, I mean, I've always wondered what it's been to go over there. I've never traveled very much, and I feel like, like people would really enjoy music over there. What about you, UK. Like I said, it's your <laughs> UK. It's okay. I'll say, you know, I've toured all over the place with all the bands I played before, but I would love to go with you guys in a world tour. Everywhere. everywhere. I definitely think, yeah, I would want to go everywhere, definitely but my favorite pick. Okay. Um, this year, I think it's just the album. I finished this album, just got it done, and I'm just really excited to have the release party January 12th. And I'm looking forward to, like, you know, actually performing this whole, you know, we've been working really hard on it, and 
I just want to get everybody's feedback and like have everybody like know all our songs and listen to it. Um, also, I think uh, I have uh, an audition coming up for The Voice, and uh, I'm looking forward towards that as well. Well, I'm looking forward to have a hit record with you guys, because then that'll open a lot of doors for us. About it? About it. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> about it. About a hit record. What about you? Me? Uh, like you said, your voice audition, I'm excited. I'm gonna support, you know? You know, promote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. How did the band start and why your brothers and dad? Um, well, I mean, me personally, I've been in a few bands, and um, there's always that question oh, the drummer's sick, can't make it, or the drummer's got something else to do, or the bass player's gotta do this, and the guitar player's gotta do that, and blah. I'm done with that. Like, Nobody's as dedicated as, you know, my family was always here. So it's like my brother, he's my bass player, my dad, my drummer. They're always at home. We can rehearse whenever we want. That way we get our material set and done. And from there we move on a lot faster than I would with any other band because I have yet to meet people that have been as dedicated as right and left here. So, yeah. Same thing. Same, yeah. pretty much. We could all agree on that. The same. We're serious about what we're doing. We have the same goal. Out tonight in the world is 